Stars and Stripes RC. I have the other, uh, the second uh, sample from FMS that they sent me to review on my YouTube channel, the uh, 1500 millimeter Molly. Uh, this one is a uh, really nice looking plane. I like the blue colors on it. We'll get that closer look at that once we get into the parts. It also does come with floats. So the wingspan is 1500 millimeters. Uh, length on it is 1100 millimeters. Uh, the motor size is a three, excuse me, 3541 KV 1050 with a 40 amp ESC. It has seven nine gram servos, which are all digital. Um, the center of gravity is 60 to 70 millimeters. So we'll see how that goes. They call for a three cell 2200 to 3200 milliamp pack. So I'm going to lean towards a 3200 to 4000 just for, uh, longer flight times on it. So let's go ahead and get into the box and check out the parts. So we have the parts on the table. Uh, again, as you can see, it's a, it's a really nice shade of blue they got on this one. It works well with the white. It is kind of a flat uh, blue. So I may do some matte finish men wax on this to kind of make it pop a little more. Um, as I said, the plane does come with floats. They're the same floats, the same setup as the Ranger, only on a larger scale, so it does still have the servo to drive the, the uh, steering on it back on the fin. Um, they added a strip of plastic for, a, well, it's kind of a skid type thing, so that should run really smooth uh, on the water. Uh, the elevator is just basically all white. I would have liked to have seen some blue on that, but that's all right. Uh, it does come with the, uh, elevator struts. The, uh, control horn again, like the Ranger is a plastic molded one piece unit that is glued on. So that's going to be good and strong. That'll never come off. At the wing spar, uh, the prop that comes with it is 11.7. Um, it is hex fitted for the motor, so I don't know. I'll have to check into whether or not I can actually upgrade that to say 11.8 because the air in New Mexico is thinner. We like to use a bigger pitch prop. The uh, landing gear wire is it, it's a it's a nice big gauge it, at the same time it does have some flex to it um the tundra tires are really really nice and big uh this will work really well off of grass got your rudder uh the decals on this are peel and stick but they look really nice they're well placed um, as well here, uh, along the edge there. The control horn is again, one molded piece of plastic that's glued on. So that's going to be really good and strong. Um, the way, the way the uh, tail wheel wire, um, uh, on fits in that slot. And then there's a screw that that'll pinch that. So it's, it's a good, uh, concept the way they did this. I really like that. Your nuts and bolts, uh, you got your spinner here with your uh, prop nut. The wings, the again, the, the, the paint and finish on this is really nice. It, uh, you can see they have the force generator type thing going on here and you can actually you can see if you can see that anyway uh, the the rivet lines so really nice work from FMS on this uh, it does come with the antenna that will fit in the top of the wings here on both wings um, be a nice touch the 
flaps, as you can see, are hinged from the inside. I like how, I like planes that come with the flaps that uh, are uh, hinged this way. So you can see that that contours and that, that fits inside of the wing really nice. On the aileron is again your standard foam hinge, standard clevises, not a big deal. It's not a heavy duty plane. Here's your nine gram servos on the wings for the flaps and for the ailerons. The control horn on the flaps are glued in, but they're glued in really good. Those are not gonna come out on you. Um, on the ailerons, however, they do back it with a plate and screw, which is always nice to see. Uh, as we all know, sometimes when they, when not, not just FMS, I mean, everybody, every manufacturer tends to glue in control horns here and there, and you end up having to re-glue them because sometimes uh, you don't get enough glue in there or they, they come loose. Uh, so it's always good to have a back plate and screw on those. On the fuselage, you can see the nice uh, cockpit is all glass. Well, it's plastic, but it's, it's all see-through, which is really cool. Nice pilot figure in there. Uh, again, the decals are the peel and stick, but they look really nice on there. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with uh, this model so far. On the battery, you can see that there is plenty of room if, if you can get a shot back uh, for a, I'm, I'm pretty much going to guarantee you can get a 3-cell 4000 back there. So, uh, plenty of room in there. Uh, i probably try to fit my receiver in this recess here. Um, I'll have to play with it and see, but there's, there's way plenty of room for all that stuff. And look at the bottom. Uh, not much detail as far as the bottom goes. It does have the exhaust here, which are just white foam. I may take some, some black paint and, and, and paint those just to make some, make them look a little more detailed. Uh, here you have access to your reflex. Actually, this is where, uh, the receiver will go. Um, I just figured that that compartment was there right now. So, so yeah, so the receiver, all your wires are in there. Uh, the reflex unit, which I will be using and we'll put the receiver in that compartment there. So that's a really, really nice, uh, setup. I like that for the receiver. Um, the servos, yeah, they're, they're just, uh, regular, I think, analog servos on the tail section, from what I can tell. But, again, it's, it's not a, a, a big 100 mile an hour plane, so, I'm, you know, servos, uh, don't have to be special metal gear analog digital servos so but that's a that's a quick look at the uh, 1500 millimeter molly by fms i want to appreciate fms for taking interest in me and my my youtube channel and and sending me these two samples to review for them uh i'll be getting a video after it's assembled tomorrow on the table and then hopefully by Thursday, I'll be getting a maiden flight video on each one of these guys uh, and sending them over to FMS. So, but at any rate, that's uh, the Molly. Thanks for watching.